हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम इन माय चैनल स्टूडेंट्स एज पर योर रिक्वेस्ट आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट न्यू लेसन फॉर योर बेनिफिट एंड द लेसन इज एटॉमिक स्ट्रक्चर सो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट एटॉमिक स्ट्रक्चर atomic structure okay so in this uh, lesson there are very important uh, theories as well uh, some important points uh, regarding the electrons protons neutrons isotopes properties of isotopes atomic number mass number then electronic configurations orbital diagrams valency vas valence electrons such a type of very very important concepts are there in this chapter and that chapter now we are going to start in today's lecture so first point before <coughs> going to start this chapter and very important basic concept that is the atom so as our chapter name is the atomic structure so we must know the meaning of atom so student you know that uh, the smallest particle of matter is known as the atom smallest particle smallest particle smallest particle of smallest particle of matter smallest particle of matter is known as is known as atom okay and now the concept of matter already we have studied correct so matter you know that anything that occupies the space and has the mass is known as the matter so here we are going to discuss about the atom so what is the atom atom is the smallest particle of matter is it okay so keep in your mind the definition of at atoms which uh, is very important now one more points that i want to discuss that atom cannot be seen by our naked eyes correct so if we want to see the atoms in the matter we required the microscope that is the electronic powerful microscope we require under the microscope we can see in the particle matter is there so this is the some basic uh, concept of this uh, chapter now uh, after that uh, student you know that there are uh, some great philosophers in india whose uh, role is very important to understand the concept of the matter and that i will be tell you now so you know that the great philosopher indian philosopher maharshi kanad and uh, he according to him the matter consists of very indestructible particles and he called that particles as the parmanu so first scientist role uh, that we are going to understand here the maharshi kanad mahar si kanad maharshi kanad's roles are very important as per the view of india so maharshi kanad maharshi kanad was indian philosopher his role is very important uh, regarding the atomic theory uh, as per his theory what is the statement is there matter consist of just concentrate here matter consisted matter consisted of in destructible indestructible particles so indestructible means what it is not going to disturb correct indestructible particles and this indestructible particles he known as the parmanu parmanu okay so this particles he known as the parmanu so this is the theory of the maharshi kanad so uh, concentrate here what is the theory of maharshi kanad regarding the matter matter 
consist consisted means consist of indestructible indestructible means these particles are not going to uh, destruct means not going to break okay so they are going to call as the paramanus so this is the theory of that uh, scientist and after that uh, another one important role is there this paramanus uh, does not consist of free state okay and this paramanus after that this paramanus are forming so this paramanus combines together and they are forming the anu so the paramanus with other paramanus they are going to form bigger particles and that particles is known as the anu so next part that we are going to discuss in this theory means now you understand paramanu means a uh, smallest particles okay and uh, this part particles are combined together to form a anu as per the maharshi kanna theory very important so this is the anu so this is consider one paramanu and another one paramanu combined together to form the anu this is the theory so anu means afterwards anu is called as the molecules understand so anu is known as the molecules so this is the part of the theory of this uh, maharshi kanna theory and this uh, smallest particle afterwards called as the atom so this is one atom this is one atom so atom two atoms combines and forms the molecules so that is after discovery uh, he gave the name that is the molecules clear for everybody what is the maharshi kanna theory so maharshi kanna theory is very easy theory maharshi kanna was indian philosopher and under his theory some important concepts are there that whatever be smallest particles the that particles he known as the paramanus and after the paramanus means atom and after that this uh, small paramanus combine together and to form a big uh, particles and he known as the big particles as a molecule so this is the theory after that there was a greek philosopher and the name of the greek philosopher was the demo critis so demo critis was the green philosopher and as per the greek philosopher and as per the his theory that whatever the parmanus was discovered by the uh, maharshi kanath he named this parmanus as a atom keep in mind so he actually as i told you afterwards is so actually demo critis uh, theory named this parmanus as the atom keep in mind very important and uh, in the greek word this atoms means indivisible so atom means in divisible means what they are not divided not able to divide correct so indivisible means not able to divide so this is the theory of democritus after that after maharshi kanath democritus was another one scientist and uh, he gave his theory uh, regarding to the maharshi kanath that is very important okay so this is the work of the some part of your uh, atomic structure which theory was there in the ancient times and as per that theory now we are going to proceed our lecture uh, after this uh, theory there was a great scientist and uh, the name of the scientist is the dalton so we are going to study now what is the theory of dalton so dalton's atomic theory it is popularly known as dalton's atomic theory dalton's atomic theory so in this theory what are the important points that we are going to highlight so in 18 in 1808 so john dalton was an english scientist and he uh, describe about the atom and he given some postulates or some features of his theory so what was the main features of his theory that we are going to highlight okay so the main feature of his theories are first one matter consist of matter so already you know the matter matter consist of very small individual particles known as atom so matter consist of very small particles very small particles so very small particles known as the atom 
so this is the first postulates of his theory the second postulate is atoms can neither be created nor be destroyed so this atom atom can neither be created neither be created nor be nor be destroyed nor be destroyed so this is another very important postulates or the features of this theory means atom cannot be created and nor be destroyed so this is another one important postulates of the dalton atomic theory the third postulate is atoms of an elements okay so if you are going to consider about any elements so regarding that this postulate is there atom of an element atom of an element are identical are identical in all in all respects so this is another one important postulates of uh, this theory is there so if you are going to consider elements and in that elements atoms are there correct so this all the atoms are identical in all the respects so what are the respect regarding their mass density chemical properties okay so i will show the examples you consider this is one element and in that element such as these are the atoms okay so these atoms are present and now these all the atoms are identical in their properties understand so this is the meaning of the abo uh, postulate so this is another one important postulates of this theory number 4 postulate is there atom of an element okay so atoms of an element atom of an element combines combines in small number small number to form to form molecules to form molecules of that element of that element this is again important means what see uh, atoms are there in the elements you know that so different elements they are combined together now correct and uh, this different elements different atoms combined together and they are forming the molecules for examples uh, atoms of your hydrogen plus atoms of a chlorine it combined together they are forming the molecule as hcl understand so atoms of this hydrogen and atoms of the chlorine combined together and they are forming this is the molecule of hydrogen chloride understand so this is another one important postulate means atoms combined together and they are forming the molecule this is the simple uh, postulate that you have to keep in mind number fifth postulates which is again important postulates is there atoms of a elements combine together and they are forming the in a their uh, ratio simple ratio we can say for examples now see once again h2 plus cl2 and there is a formation of twice of hcl so if you are going to write uh, the simplest ratio of these and you can see that hydrogen is 2 in number 2 volume and chlorine is also 2 in volume so if you want to write their ratio we know that how to write 2 is to 2 means hydrogen is 2 and chlorine is 2 chlorine molecules hydrogen molecules h2 means molecules understand now chlorine means this is also molecules only h is there means this is the atom if cl is there that is the atom understand so if you want to write their simplest ratio we can write we can do uh, these numbers are divisible by 2 so 1 is to 1 so this is the simplest ratio also we can prepare so this is another one uh, postulate of this it means what actually we can prepare the simplest ratio of the compound okay so this is the compound okay so this compound is there and what it would be the atoms which or molecules which is involves to form the compounds we can prepare their simplest ratio understand so this is the another one very important uh, postulates of this theory so student these are the very important postulates that i uh, discuss with you and i hope now you understand whatever be the beginning lecture of this atomic structure 
so see once again i will highlight which points we are discussed in today's lecture so firstly we are discussed about what is the atom and uh, secondly we are discussed about the very important theory of maharshi kanath theory indian philosopher's theory maharshi kanath theory and then we are discuss democratic theory some important work of the democritus and lastly we are discuss about the dalton dalton's atomic theory and its postulates dalton's atomic dalton's atomic theory and its postulates so these are our today's work in the beginning of this topic i hope that you understand uh, this uh, particular topic uh, so students please share the videos and subscribe my channels so i hope that in the coming uh, days i will be uh, sending the new videos on this particular topic and you understand this topics in a better way thank you all of you have a nice day